So another 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 um, fighter that you train is is definitely on everyone's uh, everyone's everyone's list in terms of entertaining fighters is Chizora. Now he's um, recently signed a, a deal with Matchroom. Mm. So a lot of the fans are, are rubbing their hands in delight. So does that mean we're going to see Chizora versus Dylan White? Potentially, yeah. Eventually, that's inevitable. Um, don't quote me, uh, from my understanding, uh, the path that Eddie has laid on for them, should they come through successfully, then it's inevitably they're going to meet um, for a fight. Yeah, it, you know, that should happen. I mean, again, it goes to uh, confirm what we said earlier on regarding Yard and uh, Frank. Yeah, Eddie Hearn could easily put Chisora and Dylan White in right now. And it will sell. Yeah. Yeah. But no, a smart thing to do is to build them. Yeah, they build up slowly. Yeah, momentum. Yeah. It picks up pace. Yeah. To sizzle and fever. Then <laughs> bam. That's promotion for you. Yeah. That's sensible. That's smart. Yeah. So, you know, come on, man. This is knowing what we know now. We've we've made mistakes in the past. You you should learn from your mistakes. You shouldn't make the same if you're gonna make mistakes, make new ones. Don't don't keep making the same mistakes. I always said to my own son, I've made loads of mistakes, but one thing I try and do, don't make the same mistake. Make new ones. You're allowed to make mistakes, make new ones. No, I totally second that. Yeah, I never made the same mistake twice. Mm. So um whilst we're on a heavyweight uh, on a heavyweight division, there's been the recent stories of um, you know, it's always happened throughout every division, but uh, most recently Tease, Heavyweights, um, yeah. Yeah, was found uh, tested positive uh, for substance. What's and that was a big clash, you know. That was a clash we all wanted to see. Or Tease mm. versus Wilder, top mm. heavyweight clash. What What's your thoughts on um, boxers using performance enhancement drugs? If Ortiz was taking a, a pets? Yeah, if exactly. I'm not a drug a doping body, so I can only pass my comment based on what you read, what yeah, you hear. Yeah. If it's found to be true, he's not the only one recently who's been uh, 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 found out of uh, taking illegal substances or banned substances. Uh, I'm, I feel very strong about this. It's quite a sensitive subject in the sense I feel very strong about it. Um, what I'm about to say is my opinion. Yeah, you're entitled to it. My yeah, opinion. Sure. You know, because it's happened very frequent, you know, it's, it seems like the fashion amongst athletes or these you know, I've come to a conclusion, yeah? What's the difference between people are now saying, you know, we're not gonna go into a bank with a gun and rob a bank. We're gonna rob it in a different way. So let me give you a scenario here. These guys are getting paid handsomely for fighting. Yeah, and when you're risking your life, yes, you do deserve to get paid uh, uh, when you're going in that ring, every boxer that climbs they through those, their life, they're risking yeah. their lives. So when people question, oh God, they're getting so much money. One blow could put you in a coma. Yeah? Right. Okay, right. So there is that side of it. So what I think these guys are doing, who are getting found, who are taking, or knowingly taking, I'm talking about people who are knowingly taking illegal substances or banned substances. They might as well go in a bank and, 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 and rob a bank. But what I'm trying to say is that they're taking chances. They're saying, this is, I'm trying to get logic. Why are yeah, you yeah. doing it? You know you're going to get caught. So why are you doing it? So my own conclusion I've drawn from asking that question to myself is that it must be that they're thinking, you know, what, how much am I going to get paid? A million pound or something? So I'm going to take that chance. Take whatever. Win, lose whatever. I get found out that, that to ban substances. Guess what? The money is in the bank. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a boxer's purse being taken back from them never after they've been banned. the threats, but it's never actually yeah. happened. They've, they've been banned, but guess what? They've been banned. The money is still in the bank. Yeah? So I think to prevent people, prevention is better than cure, as they say. To prevent people thinking of they're gonna get away with it. Anyone seen to uh, ban substances, take the money back. They've got to pay every penny back. Yeah. They've got to pay every penny back because people are thinking, hang on a sec, 
I'm not going to go to jail for this. Yeah? I'm going to take it. If I get found, guess what? All right, I've been banned. And guess what? It's not even a lifetime ban. Exactly, yeah. Right? It's temporary. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Of course.